So you may have heard there's going to be a total lunar eclipse uh, next week on the 31st of January. In TP for iOS, we can see that here in the events list. Here we have January 31st, total lunar eclipse. It tells you about it, a um, little bit of description, when the uh, peak time is, 6.30 in the morning, for my current location. You can click through, read more about it um, from NASA's site, uh, which has all the detailed timings. But if we simply select that time, then we can view what's going on with uh, where the moon is going to be and think about planning a shot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn Skyfire off because uh, we don't really, don't really need that um, for this purpose. So let's think about what, what might be going on. You'll see here the blue line, uh, the thin blue line, shows where the moon is at 6.30 in the morning. It's going to be before sunrise, in sometime in nautical twilight. And uh, the moon will be relatively low in the sky, so only 7 degrees above the horizon, and off to sort of west-northwest. So here in Boulder in Colorado, um, there are a few different things we, we might think about doing. We could, for example, imagine can we have the moon next to Long's Peak, which is a prominent 14,000-foot uh, mountain that's, that's close by, a 14 or as they're called. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is look at a few potential locations. I'm going to show you how to get a sense of what might work, how to explore that in a little bit more detail on your phone or iPad using both TPE, TPE and TP3D. And then we're going to cut into actually doing some scouting in the field and use the augmented reality feature to uh, see how things might appear uh, this coming Wednesday morning. So let's have a look at a couple of potential shot locations and we'll explore those in a little bit more detail. I happen to know that there is a reservoir um, here, I think it is. There we are, Lagerman Reservoir, just to the north of Boulder. And I'm guessing that we might be able to get the the eclipsed moon next next to Long's Peak. So if I drop the the red pin there and then zoom out, you can see already that the um, the moon is pretty close to, to Long's. What I'm going to do, I'm going to switch on geodetics. That's there. I'm going to drag and drop the gray pin, put it on top of Long's Peak. I can probably fine tune that a little bit. Yes, I can. I'll zoom in. And if I just put the crosshairs there, tap that, it's centered. So you'll see that at roughly the peak of totality, 6.30 in the morning or thereabouts, the, the moon is um, to the uh, south of, of Long's. And you can also see from the chart below that it's higher in the sky than the peak. If I move the, uh, the timeline back and forth, you'll see it's setting there. So this looks possible. Um, this might work. What we can do is uh, explore this in a little bit more detail, and I can view this in TP3D to get a sense of how much of the mountains we, we can see. So I do share, I do open in TP3D. It opens up, it drops the pins. So there's a pin at the lake, and there'll be a pin on the top of Longs. So I'm just gonna double tap there, fly down to it. And you can see just adjust the time here. There we go. That is set to large moon, but it scales back um, when we're at the pin. You can see that it's sort of above and to the left. It's a little bit high. It gets closer as it sets. And we could zoom in. We'd probably take the shot at a much bigger, much longer focal length. Let that settle. The moon will shrink. And there it is off to the off to the left. So that's one possibility. Let's go back to TP. Let's look at a second possibility. I know just from driving around the local area that if we were to go to somewhere such as Cherryvale Road, which is here, um, we might well get a good view of the, the Indian peaks. So I'm going to drop the red pin there. Obviously the Longs is going to be far to the north, so that's probably not what we're going to be focused on. But these uh, these mountains here, such as Apache Peak, 
Uh, they might be a, you know, relatively attractive for the shot, so we'll put that there. You can see already that the moon will be to the north of that particular peak, but maybe let's, let's have a look again in TP3D and um, see where it where it sits. You can also see there. I've switched to the altitude profile um, with the geodetics, and you see the moon is is visible above above the peaks, so it's not going to be too low in the sky, which is good. We're still in twilight, so let's check that out. Click share. Open in TP3D. Let's drop the pin. I'll tap on that. Fly down to Cherryville Road. And then you can see there's the pin we dropped on Apache Peak that's labeled D. And the moon is off to the north. It, the size is exaggerated. You get a sense of the path and how the sky brightens. So we can see that around 640, the moon will be sat above the mountains slightly to the north but still in some attractive uh, skyline. So now we've, we've got a sense of a couple of places we can potentially go to take this shot. What we're going to do is uh, switch over to back to TPE and we're going to take the phone out into the field, uh, drive out to these locations and we'll try the augmented reality planning tool to give us a sense of really where the moon is going to look exactly in situ uh, in these, these potential locations. Okay, so let's look at what we got at Lagerman Reservoir. Um, I'm recording this voiceover after the event, uh, but this is exactly what I recorded on the device. First thing I'm doing is checking the calibration of augmented reality. This is to make sure that the device compass is correct. All this whizzing around in a figure of eight is to recalibrate the compass. I then reinitialize. I check the current time and the sun is in the right place. Now I'm skipping forward to the uh, full moon, the morning of Wednesday. You hold the device up and you can see where the moon will be overlaid over the mountains. You can see yesterday that things were a little bit cloudy over the uh, the, the, the the divide, so we can't quite see where Longs is, but I know it's pretty much in that direction. You can adjust the time and see roughly when things will uh, set, um, for example. So this is really all in the, the 45 minutes before dawn. So now let's move over to Cherryvale Road. So again, here I'm starting with the calibration. Uh, I'm going to tap the live time tracking on, check that the sun is shown to be where the sun actually is, and it is. I look west, and I'm going to set the clock to January 31st. So I choose the lunar eclipse, select that event time, 6.30 a.m., and it shows us where the moon is. You can see it's sort of as we expect off to the west northwest. It's sitting just above the peaks. You can just about make out the snow there. You can see that we have some leeway up until about 6.45 before the, the moon will effectively disappear behind those mountains. Um, so this looks quite promising. Bear in mind we'll use a long telephoto lens for this shot so the, the trees that you see won't be such an issue. So one thing to be aware of when you're using augmented reality, uh, generally speaking, don't try to do it inside of car. Um, this little clip shows you how bad the, the calibration is because of magnetic interference at this point. So I'm tracking live time. Let's look for where the app thinks the sun is based on the compass data. You see it's miles away from where the, where the sun actually is in the sky. So the lesson is you need to climb out the car and carefully recalibrate. So where should we go? Here's uh, Lagerman Reservoir. First thing to notice is it's frozen. Um, that's one of those things you can't really tell directly from the app, but it's useful to know, so no good foreground. There is, however, an interesting long shot there. You see the two satellite dishes. You can just about make out longs in the background. So that has some potential. Let's have a look at Cherry Vale. This is a, a telephoto of zoom of the the, the peaks that w where the moon is going to be setting as we saw before quite interesting quite attractive lots of scope for moving around slightly wider shot you can see further south on the road we could get the flat irons the boulder flat irons in and again there is a long shot with potential there the moon is going to set right in that gap that we're, we're showing there 
On balance, Cherry Vale Road probably offers a few more possibilities. It gives us some more places to move up and down north and south. And if things go to plan, maybe we'll get another shot like this. Uh, this was from April 2015, a lunar eclipse at dawn. If you're shooting next week, good luck. Hope you get the shot you, you want.